Welcome back. Now witness the key moments in 700 years of Singapore's history through a gripping mix of live performances and multimedia action. It's one of the highlights of the nation's bicentennial commemoration called From Singapore to Singaporean, which will open to visitors at Fort Canning next month. And our reporter Tan Sukui has an exclusive sneak preview. The 60-minute time traveler showcase begins at the atrium. It tells how unpredictable weather created storms for civilizations and cities like Singapore and led to their rise and fall. History then comes to life as audiences journey to the kingdom of Singapore in the 14th century. Live performances along with computer graphics that are projected on a wall depict the major events leading up to the 19th century. Performers step on and off a travelator belt as part of the setup. Fast forward to the year 1819, visitors board a steamship that heads towards Singapore. There, they witness the arrival of the British and Singapore's evolution into a colonial port. They're then plunged into scenes that juxtapose Singapore's modernism with its darker side. The walls close in to create a circular 360-degree screen that gives a glimpse of its poverty and opium dens. And the platform starts to rotate. The next two acts show the days of the Japanese occupation and a recap of previous scenes. It was very challenging because, like I said, there was just so many incredible stories. And I think we tried to pick the ones that we felt had the greatest uh, emotional resonance uh, to the point of how all the major steps and milestones that brought us to where we are today in 2019. Having said that, there's still so much more material that we hope Singaporeans again will come, feel excited about it, go off and go search for it. The showcase extends outdoors as well with a series of pavilions called the Pathfinder. It takes visitors across the centuries using artifacts and maps. And right at the back, there's also a seed conservatory. Here, it features the historical flora of Singapore, both native plants and those that were brought to the island by forces of nature or cultivated for aesthetic and economic reasons. Entry to the two-part showcase at Fort Canning is free and tickets can be booked online. From Singapore to Singaporean, the bicentennial experience will be held from June to 15 September. And for more, we're joined by the show's creative director, Beatrice Chia at Richmond, and multimedia director, Brian Gothong Tan. Thank you both for coming in. No, thank you. Thank yeah, you. Beatrice, I'll come to you first. Uh, we, it covers quite a, quite a time span and yes. of mm. sig significant events here in Singapore mm. uh, in that time. Tell us about sort of the experience that you had putting together this sort of time traveler and this, this story. Well, it was a tremendous experience. I mean, firstly, I think it's an opportunity of a lifetime. It, you know, a bicentennial only happens once in a hundred years. Mm -hmm. So I think that for our generation and my children's generation, it's, you know, we're never going to experience, you know, a commemoration like that anymore for at least for another hundred years. Um, I think when we first approached the project, or, you know, we, one of the, the main things was the, the history that we had to tell. Um, I remember that when we were in school, I think that history tends to be, um, oh, you start Sangnila Utama, and then the arrival of Raffles, <laughs> nothing happened in between. <laughs> and then there was the war and then independence. Mm -hmm. So in, in many ways, I think history is, seems very slim. And we always have the impression that mm -hmm. Singapore being a very small country has a very small and rather short mm -hmm. history. But I think in this experience, by being looking at the amount of stories that have been laid out, it's an opportunity to tell um, that, this, you know, that the stories that are lesser known. Mm -hmm. um, and in fact, the period that was so exciting for us was from 1299 all the way up to the, just before the arrival of Raffles, you had some epic battles. I mean, I, I, this was the first time that we knew about the Santa Catarina incident, for example, which is this Portuguese, you know, character that was plundered by the Dutch. I mean, that's kind of like material for an Avengers film or a Pirates of the Caribbean movie. So these were some of the wonderful things that we learned. Mm. Uh, pulling together a huge team, mm. so much so that uh, there's another creative director as well, Michael Chiang. So the both of us are creative directors on this. We have two multimedia teams because there's so much material to work with. So Brian actually leads one multimedia team. We have another uh, a lady called Sally who also runs in another uh, multimedia team. And it's a whole village of people that have come together with the best of ideas, the best designs to bring history to life at the Fort Canning Centre. Right, with so much, you know, like mm. you say, you know, it's um, a 
script that you know can bring up Avengers story or anything yes. like that. But mm. Brian, you have the task of doing that using multimedia. Yeah, tell right. us, tell us about that because we saw some of that, um, a little bit of the preview there. Yeah, so we use uh, many different technologies and different screens. So we put, we have giant LED walls. We have uh, projections on scrims, on water. We have uh, moving 360 degree projections and many others. Uh, but I think the most exciting is uh, where we try to mix uh, live actors with uh, animation. So that's, uh, that's an act one where we did uh, Sang, Nila, Sang Nila Utama onwards. Yeah. yeah, I think in that footage that you see, act one is one of the crowd favorites. So in the test previews that we've had already, that really is coming in as one of the big favorites because it marries exactly uh, Brian's beautiful multimedia work. It covers epic history in that. Mm. There's the Travelator, live performance, martial arts, uh, a scrim, you know, um, lots of effects. And it almost has this Hollywood style of telling 500 years of history. This is incredibly fascinating. So you've already had some test screenings. So mm. what are some of the responses that you've had then uh, from what people have seen? Um, we've had a couple of test previews, bringing in sort of friends and, and families or so to test it out. Uh, so the response has been overwhelming. I mean, people have been so positive. Um, a lot of people have said that they wanted to come back mm. ag again and again. And this is just the time, you know, the traveler, which is only one part of the bicentennial experience up the hill. Mm. Um, people have said that they, they never knew that history could, uh, that, it was, that it could be so engaging. They, they, they never knew that there were such stories about Singapore. Some said it was very moving. In fact, a lot of people felt that, uh, to, you know, some of particular acts, especially the last act, was extremely moving. Mm. Yes. I want to ask what that is now. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, right. no, okay, but um, you know, no spoilers here. But give mm. us some of the highlights of what we can expect, you know, um, from the, uh, you know, from this whole event. Because there's this um, other experience that I'm looking at, and they're telling me it's called the Pathfinder. Yes. Oh, okay, yes, tell you well. more. So that's the, the other part of the bicentennial experience. So the timed experience is uh, literally a timed experience. So uh, audience, if you want to see it, actually you book a ticket uh, on the website. And it's, it, well, it's free, but you, act, you still need to book your slot. Um, and then outside of the Fort Canning Centre, up on Fort Gate, you would find the Pathfinder. So what the Pathfinder is, is um, if the time traveller is about experiencing history through time, then the Pathfinder is about experiencing history through space. It is made up of eight pavilions, and each pavilion actually takes on a certain theme. So, for example, you have the Seed Conservatory, and it houses uh, different specimens of the flora and fauna of Singapore over the last 700 years. There is a house of maps that houses 10 ancient maps, sort of, uh, maps that, that navigators had used to find their way to Singapore. There is a pavilion of words that houses literature and books that were written about the history of Singapore. There is the Emporium of the East, which actually houses 16 artifacts that you find in uh, the history of Singapore as well. But these are not real artifacts because we have blown them up. We've 3D printed them and blown them up so that you can see the detail on this. <laughs> Then there's a light beam where every night at the 8 o'clock hour, 9 o'clock hour and 10 o'clock hour, there will be a very short light show, much like the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. Oh. So, and what it beams every night are actually uh, different colours. Um, so after you finish the time experience, visitors get to do a, a certain uh, poll where you can choose the trait that you think that Singapore, you know, that sort of represents the most important trait that Singaporeans could have you know, uh, in, in the building of Singapore. So, and each trait is, correlates to a certain colour. So blue goes with openness and then uh, uh, silver goes with self-determination self and gold goes with multiculturalism. So every night there is a guess as to which colour made it. So which one did you choose? Ah, yeah. And Brian, you're involved in this, obviously. So what were some of the challenges that you, know, you actually faced when you're trying to do something like this? Well, basically there were uh, technical and creative challenges. So the technical is, of course, can be solved by a lot of rehearsals, a lot of prototyping, which we did. And we work uh, closely with our choreographer Lim Yu Bang to work with the actors and animation, and we rehearse like over many weekends. Mm -hmm. And there was also uh, actually the more challenging part was the creative part because we had to uh, basically art direct 700 years worth of history, and we had to create uh, uh, all these artifacts uh, from scratch to film them. And we don't have the craftsmen in Singapore, so we had to go around the region. We had to go to Bangkok and find the right craftsmen and film there. And yeah, so there, there were some of the 
challenges that we face. All yeah. right. Well, thank you so much for coming in and sharing with us. You know, can't wait to see this now. And, you know, I've already gone online. I'm trying to book slots. And <laughs> let me tell you, it's full. So I'm like trying to book slots in advance. Yeah, and you're going like, to have to extend the dates. Yeah, right? you're going to have to extend the dates beyond yeah. September now. Yeah, well, I actually wanted to say that we open tickets actually by, uh, by the month. So uh, oh, we open oh. tickets for July on the 1st of June. Um, and it, but it is true that actually for all Singaporeans out there, if you want to catch this, and I really urge you to do go and get your tickets because it is, the tickets are really moving so quickly. Okay, yeah, so I know. Still I, still, I still have a chance. Still a chance. The 9 a.m. ticket slots. Taken. Let me tell you, <laughs> 9 a.m. Taken. Thank you so much for coming in and speaking to us. We've been speaking there with Creative Director Beatrice Cha Richmond and Multimedia Director Brian Gothon Tan from, from Singapore to Singaporean, the Bicentennial Experience.